What'd you say? Quintessential farmer's market. Okay, because... This, this is... The, the essence of farmer's markets. So quintessential means you grow it yourself. No, quintessential means authentic. Is it like bicentennial? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hi, we're the Farmer's Market Quest. I'm Tanya, and behind the camera is Morgan. This morning we woke up and started to explore the hills of California, and we ended up in Auburn, California, for this cute little farmer's market. Let's go check it out. Auburn, California is located along Interstate 80, about 30 miles to the northeast of Sacramento and about 80 miles from the north shore of Lake Tahoe. If the city Auburn sounds familiar to you, it's because early settlers and gold miners in the area were originally from Auburn, New York. Restored Old Town Auburn is a treasure in and of itself and has streets lined with historic buildings that give a glimpse into how things looked in the 1800s. When we arrived in downtown, we found everything was open. There is a great mix of locally owned retail shopping, breweries and pubs, and some great outdoor dining. There is a historical significance here with monuments and plaques to teach visitors about the area. From downtown, head up the hill a block or two to find the free public parking for the farmer's market. From the parking lot, it's a very short walk through a lovely area to reach the market. This market has a great mix of friendly and knowledgeable vendors who mostly live in the area where they grow and produce the products that they sell. If you're here for produce, veggies and fruits, you've come to the right place. Everything you could want to make a delicious salad can be found right here. After we tasted these sunflower microgreens, we just had to bring a box home for our dinner. These onions were enormous. We put two of them on the scale and they weighed in at over four pounds. Watermelon was in season while we were here, along with a number of other tasty fruits. What's that you say? Salad just isn't going to cut it for you? Then make a beeline for the handful of fresh fish, meats, and potato vendors. That ought to fill up your plate. We also found a huge variety of cheese, tamales and salsa, hummus and dips, honey, and for dessert, coffee and pastries. Great, now we're hungry again. Good thing there was hot food for lunch. On the day we were here, there are two food trucks, one with wood-fired pizza and another with Taiwanese food. Let's check them out. We're often asked by people about the most unique products that we find at farmer's markets. These artichoke blossoms took that prize at this market. Once the bloom opens, the artichoke is mostly inedible, but the flower sure looks pretty. Speaking of flowers, We spent a very fun hour and a half here at this market, loved talking with all these vendors. Then we found a nice spot back down the hill to show you what we got. Well, we picked up more than we expected to at the Auburn Farmers Market today. It was the nearing the end of the market, so we were able to pick up some baguettes and bread at discount prices. We also have got scones for breakfast along with some fluots that are both sweet and a little bit tart. Cherry tomatoes are in season. We've got those with some fresh cheddar cheese. Excited to make a salad with this. Check out this garlic. Oh, it's gonna be good in our meals. Along with a wide variety of uh, microgreens that we saw, we picked up the sunflower seed microgreens and they're very delicious. We can even make them in a smoothie this week. We also picked up this unique product, lemon flavored sugar. The vendor has a link to recipes, but said it's particularly good in iced tea and for baking. I'm gonna have fun trying this out in some new recipes. So next time you're in Auburn, California, whether you're here checking out Gold Rush, um, cute towns, or looking for some fresh fruit, come check out the farmer's market. Okay, Tanya, you know what time it is. Let's, Let's buzz, buzz about, about it. it. 
Hey there, we're in Auburn, California at the famous historic courthouse. Right across the street is the farmer's market. The market's held in the jury parking lot. This is a, a great market for fruits and vegetables. There's a couple of meat uh, vendors. There's some fresh baked breads. You can pick up lunch and dinner for the whole week here. I think when you think of a farmer's market, this is exactly what you think of. Buying direct from the baker, from the farmer, to get your goods for the week. Yep, there's a couple of food trucks here if you're hungry for lunch. Uh, pretty easy parking. You've got to walk up a little bit of a hill from the main parking lot, but there is a parking lot up on the top of the hill that's more accessible for people who need it. And bonus is this is a great old town that has a lot of gold rush era uh, monuments, significant historical places. It's a fun place to walk around and explore on a full Saturday. So bring a cooler to keep your fruits and vegetables in because you're going to want to check out this downtown. So the next time you're in the area and checking out downtown Auburn, check out the farmer's market too. Thanks. See you next time. Bye. On the day we were here, there were two food trucks. One with... It's the county seed courthouse. Seat. I think it's seed. It's seed. I think county seed, where things originate from. Did those people steal your purse? No. Okay. They could have, they look suspicious. Yeah, you never know. It's a nice purse. It is a nice purse. So the next time you are checking out downtown Auburn, check out the farmer's market too. Bye.